Okay, it is Wednesday, October 8th. This is day 7 of my October, uh, yeah, still October, October video challenge. Uh, gotta make this one quick. Um, still didn't get my, my edge of tomorrow's still work. Still didn't get it. Uh, so disappointing. I can't wait to have it. I really want to have it. I want it in my arms. Yes, I want to hold Tom Cruise in my arms. At least, at least the Stonebrook version. Um, so what did I do today? Well, I worked. Yay. Um, this, I have dust on my work, you know. That's not cool. I have to clean that. Um, after a week, a week and a half, maybe a, a week and a few days, no, week and a half. Let's just go with a week and a half. I finally sat down and watched the movie. I haven't actually watched the movie in a week and a half. That really sucks. It really does, especially when you're a movie-obsessed uh, movie watcher like myself. So what did I watch? What did I... What compelling piece of cinema did I watch? Since it's in the title, we already know. Why am I cleaning up with Remember? Remember when YouTube titles were up on top, not up on the bottom? So yeah, I watched Think Like a Man too. Why? Well, why not? I mean, I liked the first film. I liked it quite a bit. Uh, it was, it was sweet. It was, uh, subtle. It was clever. It was funny. Everything that the sequel is not. Yeah, uh, I watched the sequel because, you know, like I said, like the first one, and because I really like the women involved in the film. I love Gangrel Union. I love Making Good. She's all good. Um, love Taraja P. Henson. She's just adorable. Uh, Regina Hall is very cute. Uh, Lala Anthony. Wow. Um... So yeah, great cast of beautiful black women, and even Wendy, uh, is it Wendy, what, what, what's that chick's name? The chick, the, the, the white, the white girl from, uh, Reno 911, forget her name. She looks really attractive in this movie. And of course she got some good actors in it, you know, people I like. Um, and of course Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, I think he's, he's funny at times. I, I, I didn't really care for the movie. I didn't really care for the sequel. It just it, it just felt so artificial, you know? The first film was cool because even though it had a variety of characters um, and, and sto uh, so many different stories, it seemed to balance everything out well. Uh, there was character development, and, you know, like I at least cared for every story that was in there. And, um, in this one, it's just about them going to Vegas, which, uh, you know, of course I know Vegas is not a very subtle place, but it just made this sequel so overly elaborate that it got to a point where I didn't really care what was going on. It, it, it all looked nice. It looked fun. It looked like they had fun making the movie. Uh, it's got a lot of eye candy. A lot of good looking women in the movie. Um, uh, you know, very, very, very glossy. And it looked great because I watched it on Blu ray, so it, it was a, a very uh, eye catching film. But just, I, it just felt so artificial compared to the original. The original was a good film. Uh, and this one was just, it, it hit, it misses the mark. I mean, I definitely had some chuckles with it. I definitely uh, was entertained for the most part. Though there were times where I just really looked at my, I was looking at my phone and thinking about what I had to do the next day. What do I have to do before going to bed? Oh yeah, I gotta make this video. I should probably pay attention to the movie that I'm watching. 
Um, I did like one little touch. Uh, Dennis Haysgood, aka President Palmer from Twenty Four, aka the all the the all state guy. You're in good hands. Hold on, hold on. You're in good hands. I I can't I can't do it. Um, he plays like a sort of love interest to the older lady that's there, the, 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 the chick that, the lady who, uh, ah, who cares, Dennis Haysbert is there to woo a older woman, and every time he appears, they play Isley Brothers Between the Sheets in the background, I, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, Kevin Hart definitely stole the show in the first half of the movie. He had some really funny moments, um, but it just, the movie just becomes so overwhelming that nothing really, the, the second half just really isn't that funny, uh, and it just it gets really tedious, and like I said, in the first film, they balanced out the characters well, they gave their, they gave their characters closure, this film just rushes it, it gives you this whole movie full of fun and silliness and wacky hygienes, uh, but, uh, it rushes the development, um, within 15 minutes, well, not even that, 10 minutes, it's just like, oh yeah, let's, let's wrap it, let's make you care about these characters, so, I wanted to really like the movie, uh, it didn't get good reviews, it didn't, um, didn't get a lot of talk, a lot of hype, made money, but I wanted to like the movie, and I was actually very disappointed, not, not very disappointed, but you know, I would have liked to have seen a better movie. Um, definitely, if, if ever there was an unnecessary sequel, Think Like a Man 2 is an unnecessary sequel, so I'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of 5. I'm being generous with it because I do love the cast. I, I did like the vibe for the most part. It's just, it's just not a very good movie. It's very dumb. Um, I do hope that there's not a third because there's really no point, like, at all. You know, like, when they made the Best Man Holiday, the sequel to The Best Man, I was like, why? But, talking about a very unexpected, well-made sequel, you know, that actually gave you character development, that moved the, the story forward, it, it gave you an update with the characters that was worth waiting for, uh, even though you didn't ask for it. This one just doesn't do shit. It's just... It's entertaining, for it, it, it is kind of a guilty pleasure. Like I said, I had some fun with it, but it just wasn't, it wasn't that great. So, there you go. I actually gave you a review within this challenge. Probably for a movie you don't give a shit about, but hey, you know, what are you gonna do? Alright, so I gotta go. Uh, bedtime, actually shower time, bedtime, and then work time. Alright, so, um, hopefully you enjoyed this review, uh, yeah, really no reason to see the film, unless you want some good eye candy, some good visuals, um, Kelsey Grammer's in the movie for some reason, alright, whatever, peace, good night, what's up,